One recurring F1 meme that seems to be rearing its head in the history books is Japanese automobile manufacturer Honda entering into Formula 1 only to leave the sport later. And the cycle is set to repeat itself, with Honda eyeing their partners at Red Bull and AlphaTauri for another comeback after announcing their exit just a year ago. Let's look at Honda's impending return to racing, how their partners have reacted, and why they're being so confusing. Since officially leaving F1 at the end of 2021, Honda has effectively been a contractor for Red Bull. Its only recognition this year in what is expected to be a double Red Bull Championship victory is a small HRC sticker on the back of the engine cover. In contrast, the engines run under the name of another company. At least from the Japanese Grand Prix, Honda will get a bit more credit. Red Bull and AlphaTauri will start the Suzuka weekend with a Honda Racing Corporation logo on the nose cone rather than the engine cover. This is to make room for the return of the classic Honda logo, which hasn't appeared on an F1 car since the 2021 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. It is a rushed version of the revised branding agreement we expect to see in 2023. It will run until the end of 2025 and restores Honda's F1 prominence. It could also be a soft re-entry into F1 ahead of a brand new project in 2026. All of this adds up to a perplexing appearance for Honda. It announced its retirement from F1 in October 2020, and in December 2021, it officially left. In October 2022, it agreed to reapply its stickers to vehicles powered by its engine. Nobody has noticed Honda's absence since the end of the 2021 season because, to most people, Honda hasn't left. This fact was not lost on Red Bull driver Max Verstappen, who stated, It's great to have the entire Honda name back on the car. HRC was already in the car, so Honda never really left. And of course, what makes it extra special is that they're back in the car just before their home Grand Prix. We've been working really well together. It's been really enjoyable. In terms of the working relationship compared to last year, not a lot has changed anyway. Just very happy that the name is back. As well as running the Honda logo, Verstappen's teammate Sergio Perez will take on an ambassador role for the Honda Racing School's Driving Academy. Additionally, Perez will be joined by Verstappen and the AlphaTauri drivers Pierre Gasly and Yuki Tsunoda at Honda's HRC Thanks Day on November the 27th, one week after the end of the F1 season. It's unclear whether the new revised branding agreement will result in additional moves to increase Honda's visibility as part of Red Bull F1 AlphaTauri's efforts. One suggestion was to reintroduce Honda into the official engine name on the entry list, with the unit currently branded as Red Bull Powertrains. For the time being though, it appears that everyone is just happy to have the badge back on the car, including Red Bull boss Christian Horner, who stated during the reveal, Honda has invested significantly in hybrid technology over the course of our partnership. This has ensured the supply of competitive power units to both teams, for which we are very grateful. Our combined goal is to continue to deliver dominant engines and achieve the most success possible in the following three years. To mark this, we look forward to welcoming the Honda logo back onto the car from Suzuka and onwards. Koji Watanabe, the president of Honda Racing Corporation, added, the HRC logo on the nose and the Honda logo on the side of the race machines of both teams represent the strong ties between Honda and Red Bull Group. Through the technical support provided by HRC, Honda will fully support the challenges those machines take on to become the fastest in the world. We are pleased that these machines will be unveiled at the F1 Japanese Grand Prix, where Honda serves as the title sponsor. Watanabe was part of a Honda delegation that visited the Austrian Grand Prix back in July. He stated that given the plans for the next generation of power units, F1 was not a closed door for Honda after 2026. After its planned partnership with Porsche fell through, Red Bull is also said to be open to working with a manufacturer on a technical partnership beginning in 2026. Following the breakdown of talks with Porsche, Horner suggested that Honda could assist Red Bull with its powertrains project beginning in 2026, but noted that Red Bull's in-house operation was already well on its way with plans for the new engines. So, at least for the time being, it's not a given that Honda will be back to building engines in 2026. What are your thoughts? Are you excited about Honda possibly making a comeback to the sport for the fourth time? If they do get picked up by Red Bull in 2026, do you see them being as successful as they were last time? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to receive notifications of future uploads.